Hi everybody! Welcome to Discovery at Home. Today we are going to be making robotic hands. So here's what you're going to need. You're going to need some tape and a marker. I have a sharpie so you can trace your hand out. You're going to need some scissors, some string or yarn. You're going to need some plastic straws. You're also going to need a larger straw to put at the end of your hand. You're going to also need some cardboard. So here's what you're going to do first. Take your marker you're gonna, and you're going to trace your hand out on the cardboard. Now you're going to want it to be a little bit bigger than your actual hand. So here's mine. It's a little bit bigger than my actual hand. Then you're going to cut it out. Now when you're cutting it out on cardboard, can be a little tough to cut, so you may have to get an adult to help you. So we're going to cut out my hand. And voila! So now what you're going to do is we're going to draw the joints. So you're going to get your marker again. Now the joints are the little divots in your hand. So when you go like this with your finger, those are the joints. So on your hand, you can either make them curvy and just go straight across or you can draw straight lines. So for mine, we're going to start up here. We're going to just continue to draw the joints. Now you can do one, two, as many as you want to. So I'm going to draw one more just to orient So now they're all kind of bent, so it kind of looks like a bear claw. And now what you're going to do is you're going to take your straws, you're going to use the skinny ones first, and you're going to cut parts of the straw. Let's hope they don't fly everywhere. Boom. Okay, so now we're going to thread it through the straws. And for our little fingers, we may need a little help with that. But a trick when you're doing it is to make sure that your hand is down so that gravity can help pull the string to the base of the straw. And you're going to pull it out. And then after you finish threading it through all of your straws, you're going to put it through the bigger straw. You're going to pull it down. Now you're going to cut that string off so that you can tape it to the top of the finger. And it's okay if there's some excess tape. So see how I taped it down, but I have all this excess? All you're going to do is wrap it around. Now, the idea is that if you pull the string at the bottom and you put some tension on it, that the finger should move. Oh, I may need to use some stronger tape. for making Discovery at Home possible. The tape. The one that's all the Oh, go. Put 
put it through iMovie before I do it.